What's up guys? It's Jules. Time for another stitch with me, which we're going to spend the next roughly hour or so stitching a project. I hope you grabbed your project, your favorite project to stitch along with me today. What we're going to do today is we're actually going to stitch um, my largest piece, which is the Wonders of the World piece, which I, as you can see, I've barely gotten started. But um, there's a lot to talk about with this piece, so um, I thought this would be a good one to end the year with. Uh, first of all, um, let's go over again the diameter or the, the dimensions of the project. Basically, it's roughly, what was it, like 9 feet by 4 feet? Um, I don't know, maybe it's 8 feet by 6 feet? I can't remember. It's really, really long. I have a very large project bag that I'm using for this. Um, it's a, just a very durable canvas type bag. Um, and this is where I keep most of my fabric. Um, I actually have like so much fabric it's not a great picture to be able to see but I store most of the fabric inside the bag while I'm stitching I'll have to show you guys a slightly different view in another project or another video but um, imagine if you were if you had like a say a eight nine foot long snake and you're trying to like do something with it or you're trying to manage it in some way out of its cage you know one of the best ways to do it is is to put most of it in a bag and then you're only holding on to the bit of it that way the other half is kind of controlled I have no idea if that's how you handle a snake I'm not a snake handler people um, but it does keep it from flopping all over it keeps it from getting too dirty um, and it just honestly it just allows me to be able to work on one little section at a time so um, this is a pretty small hoop uh, I mean it looks like it's roughly maybe about six to eight diameter hoop um, I like smaller hoops um, but this hoop works pretty well right now I'll probably convert to a smaller hoop eventually though because this is the this is basically the um, top of one page so one two three four five six so six squares basically across um, so I could use a much smaller um, hoop and you know and they have less less to hold on to um, if you have issues with your hands or your wrists like I do at times this is just easier to deal with less strain upon you upon you alrighty now you will also be happy to learn that I have been studying this so-called loop method and we're gonna you guys you can test me if I'm gonna do this right or not we're gonna just start I don't really need a big huge piece uh, we'll see how big of a piece I need but um, we're, we're just gonna see um, I have I was doing the loop method from the back and then you guys are like, hey, we like to do the move method from the front. And I'm like, what is this magic? And so I had to go back and watch some videos. And I watched a couple of different, I probably watched three or four videos. There's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Um, now, you guys watch me and see if I do it correctly. First of all, what we're going to do, oh, first of all, I'm going to put on my magnifiers. Um, I still haven't got my readers yet. These work pretty well for me right now. I think my neck is getting stronger, so it doesn't bother me as much as it used to. But um, anyway, I also discovered that I use more like embroidery or sewing needles. I'm not sure if they're embroidery needles or not. I just know they're sewing needles because they're always like right next to the cross stitch area. So I did not realize that some of you guys actually use tapestry needles. Hold on, now I can't even pick up my needle. Because I cut my nails and I can't can't pick anything up anymore. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so that's through there. So we have created a loop back there. Yeah. All right. So uh, let me see where I got a stitch here. Now the um. I'll get into it here in a second, but the cool thing about this piece is that now I'm doing half stitches. And so this is different for me um, from what I normally do. But man, is it faster. Uh, let's figure out where we need to be. We need to be... Oh, okay. So we're going to do it from the front. So I've got... All right. So here's, here's how I'm going to show you guys. We're going to do the bottom left X, how you would normally start it. I would normally start it from behind, but because I'm doing the front... Uh, front approach on the on this. I'm gonna just do it this way. Pull all the way down there, and then I'm gonna go for my second part of my X, which is up here, and pull that, 
and then we're going to loop, see if I'm even doing this right, we're going to loop this here, and pull that taut, not super taut, just a little taut, and then I'm going to go back down through, now there's different ways that you can do this, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go back down into the first bottom left X, I want to see this, first time I've tried this, mm, I left a little something something, what did I leave, what did I do wrong, or is that from the other, See here. I did something wrong. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's start over. What did I do wrong, guys? Is this even going to come out? Because I already secured it. It may not come out. We'll see. I may have just gotten it tangled up with this other bit here. Let's pull this part out and see what we're dealing with. Nope, nope, that was it. Okay. Shoo! Let's try this again. Okay, let's try this again from the front. This way. Whoops. Oh, I lost my loop. I lost my loop. Oh, man, guys. See, it's so difficult. It's so difficult for me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. All right. I'm going to small. start with a smaller piece because I'm just making this smaller and smaller. Smaller and smaller. Oh, and I have been moisturizing more. I haven't done it this morning. I should have done it before I started stitching. But moisturizing the hands to keep them well and soft. Good and soft. All right, we're going to try with a small piece here and see what we can do. All right, so, oh, see, see? Did it again. This way. Hmm. This way through the loop, secure. Now, hmm, go this way or this way. Okay, oh, that works, okay. So, did you guys see what I did there? If you don't, it, ah, okay, sorry, I got my, got my whatchamacallit stuck here. Ah, everything's falling apart. Um, so, so yeah, so what I did was I came I went down through the bottom left, I went down through the bottom left, and then I came up on the upper right part of the X, and then I went through the loop, and then I went back down through the upper right. Now, I've seen it a couple different ways. Um, I've, I was trying first to do it back through the bottom left, but it worked better for me on this case in the upper right. So... Um, I've seen a, a Peacock and Fig did a slight variation of this. I also watched a video with Stitcherista where she did the bottom left. I liked her technique the best, and that was the one that I just tried, but it didn't work well for me for some reason. But I'm going to try that again. But I, I guess it doesn't really matter um, because what you want is you want that tiny little knot that's created with the loop to go into the back. And if, as long as you go back down through again, and really what you're doing by going back down through and pulling the knot through is that you're then positioning yourself to start the next, the next thing totally fine. And considering that we're doing half stitches, that worked perfectly. All right. I hope that made a tiny bit of sense. But we're going to just keep on doing some half stitches here. So half stitches... The reason why I'm doing those on this project is it's sheer size, 2.4 million stitches, and also because um, it's, it's a lot faster, so it's half the number of stitches um, that I would normally do, and also because it's going to be less floss on the fabric. Why am I struggling with this right now? I'm going to come down here. Part of it is I'm struggling is because of the way I'm doing this. Do I, I don't think my needle is quite right. There we go. There we go. This is going to be a little, I'm going to cheat a little bit on this one. Go slightly to the side. How's that going to look? Mm, not good. Let me do one from over here. There we go. That's what I should have done. We're just going to put another half stitch right here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't tell anybody. It'll be fine. All right. So 
what I really like about this is that, I mean, I make tremendous progress when I was working on this just the other day. And it made me very happy to make tremendous progress on such a big piece. Part of my problem with trying to fit in, I'm not using a, trying to stitch right now, is I'm not using a needle that's small enough. Um, I think that part of me doing, um, using these needles that I do, it's worked for me primarily because I am, you know, it helps when I make a tiny mistake to be able to come in and stitch, um, like if I have to push my needle through the fabric for some reason, um, or through other floss or something, it, it does seem to help me. To use, uh, a, a, like a sewing needle, huh? I just pulled that out. Grr, grr, arg. If you notice, the birds are pretty quiet right now. I'm not talking to them, but I haven't uncovered them this morning. It's still kind of early. And I have not opened up their, haven't taken their blanket off. So, oh shoot, they heard me talking about them. Let's not talk about them. We got Carter's cage is over there getting completely humidified. He's getting his, I guess you could call it a spa treatment is happening. Ooh, I got a, um, I got a battery charger for my camera. Uh, yesterday so I can start finally doing what I keep saying I'm going to do which is filming the birds and the geckos and all that so this weekend my other my big goal besides getting a lot of stitching done and getting those videos done is um, getting all that squared away <clears throat> okay where am I? What is going on? Oh, sounds like Suzu keeps getting in trouble downstairs. Oh, she's a bad doggy. She is a bad doggy sometimes, guys. We all want to love the zoo, but she is a problem child. Oh no, the birds are waking up. They're making some cute noises. It does, it is a little different to go from stitching full and then to stitching half because it's just, it's a different look. Things don't look quite the way they normally do. So I have a little bit of a problem sometimes. I did, when I was starting the other day when I was working on this piece, I had a lot of problems with just knowing where I was exactly, like picking out the right squares and all this stuff. All right, I'm gonna end my floss right here. Now, I still have, it still looks like a mess back here. And part of that is because I'm trying to stitch around a bunch of full cross stitches. And I think I also kind of made a mess um, when I was doing this. The mess was, yeah, it's really thick through there. Um, you can see, I made some, I'm not sure what I did back there, but that was the, me trying to learn different things while I was doing this one piece, but, okay, let's pull this back over here, let's pull this back over here, oh, I, gotta, I gotta take off these magnifiers, they give me a headache between, when I'm trying to like look around, not because of the weight right now, but because of the, um, all the other stuff. Little Chewbacca's being awful cute right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, let's get into this. Let's see, do I have a needle that's smaller? I don't see one. Let me go back into this one. Oh, I put my magnifiers on. Sorry, guys. Birds are going to start being loud again. I mean, some of you, some of you like it. Some of you, it's hard for you because you, um, 
you may have birds of your own or you're trying to listen on headphones. I apologize for that part. Um, my goodness. One of you guys asked me the other day, do my scissors get dull on the floss tube interlube? And I was like, oh, no, they never get dull. Now my scissors are getting dull. <laughs> it's pretty funny the way that works sometimes. Here we go. All right, eight years later. Uh, all right, actually, you know, let me highlight while I'm here. But I have to say that when I started, oh, almost did it wrong again. When I started working on this, Dun, 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 this. When I started working on this piece, here we go. I was frustrated because of the tininess of the holes. Back down through the upper right and kind of pull that knot through a little bit. Rails, baby. Hooray! There you go. You guys see okay? If you can see, if I can see and you can see, we all see. But I was frustrated and then I got some good suggestions from you guys and now I feel a lot better about this project. Because it's kind of, it would kind of stink if I got this project and I'm like, oh, it's going to be the biggest cross stitch ever. But then I don't enjoy stitching on it. I mean, that would have been a bummer. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Because I don't care how cool a cross stitch project looks. If you don't enjoy stitching on it, if it doesn't give you entertainment in a good way, then you don't do it. There's only so much cross stitching that can be done and you should do cross stitching that you enjoy. And it just, it feel, it just makes me so happy to like actually do to make so much progress on this that I'm making. It's just ridiculous how fast it goes when you're just doing the half stitches. I love it. I mean, look how fast I'm stitching this one little area. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It feels like, I don't know, it feels awesome is what it feels. So, what else have I done this week? Cross stitch. Oh, I did film a, um, a video on softening your cross stitch. Because um, people, people always ask me about, you know, how does your Ada get so soft? You know, especially if you've never done a full... Where is it? Right here. If you've never done a full coverage piece and you've never used a larger piece of Ada, and if you're new, you're probably like... Why is this so stiff? How can I work with this? Why does yours not look so stiff? So, I'm going to do a little video. Put out a little video on that this weekend, I hope. I think I'm going to film the... I think it's going to be today or tomorrow. I might do it tomorrow morning. 
film the big year in review 2019 whip parade kind of thing. It's kind of funny though because I feel like I have I've started so much that my whip parade is not as extensive and maybe that's just because I conveniently keep forgetting how much I have to do with this. There's a lot of pieces that I haven't started. But we'll get there. Oh, we will get there. I think Carter's moving in his... He's been hanging out on his vines now, which is really cool because it's a different kind of um, tactile sensation for him, and it's a different kind of um, kind of where he sits. He's gotten so much more comfortable in the last two or three days. Um, definitely, I can tell he's been he's getting around in there a lot more. Um, he's not hiding on the back of the. Um, back of the glass all the time like he was when he first got in there and he just basically didn't do anything for the first I don't know week or more while he was there so there we go mm -mm -mm. okay I did that <clears throat> They're talking to each other, that's for dang sure. you guys about my latest acquisition not not cross stitch um, hold on. Right here my husband ordered me a Baker Mayfield Cleveland Browns jersey oh look at that something got messed up right there is that from this oh there it is it is from that hold on so I'll probably wear it um one of the one of the weekly updates coming up. Let me just highlight here, um, but it's the it's the white jersey. Um, it's different from what I normally wear. I mean, it's not an authentic. It's just a replica, but it's comfortable and it's a Baker Mayfield jersey. So I'm very happy because he is my favorite football player right now. And if I had a kid who played football, it would be Baker Mayfield. He is such a goof. He is such a goof. Now, am I all the way over here? Yeah, I think I am. Hold on. Wow. Man, this I make progress with this stuff, man. There we go there. And there. And there. And there. And there. And there. And there. I'm making some serious progress. Okay, I'm running dangerously low on my, uh, whatchamacallit, my, uh, 
Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper. Got to make a run to the store today. Ooh, we are meeting up with some friends in a little bit. And we're going to go to GB's, which is a fish and chips place here in the Denver area. Should be a lot of fun. Okay. Gosh, they're mad at me. Well, I don't know if they're mad at me. They're just talking. Okay. Go up through here. Oh man, this is going to be fun to work on now. This is going to be fun. And maybe that's a, you know, another like, well, it's a lesson for me, but going back to the one question that one of you guys had about, you know, if you're working on a project and it's just not speaking to you, if it's because it's just a bit difficult in the sense of, you're just struggling to kind of get it stitched, look for alternative ways of stitching something. Um, there's no, you know, like you guys said, there's no cross stitch, please. So you can do whatever you want to. Do this right here. So maybe you want to stitch that Ronnie Rowe with just half stitches. Maybe you want to stitch it in a completely different color than black. That would be cool. Maybe you want to stitch it in multiple colors and have a rainbow effect. That would be cool. However you want to do it, dude. Do it. Oops. Lost the back of this. Now, I was watching that Peacock and Fig, and I'll link it below in the description. I was watching that Peacock and Fig um, and man, come on Jules. Oh, I see, because I don't have both parts. That's why it didn't look right. All right. Eh, cut. Cut it out, right? Oi. Good gracious. Whew. Eight years later. Nah. Yeah, definitely getting getting a bit dull on these. These are these are probably one of my oldest this might be my oldest pair of Cross stitching. You can see how the it's worn off. Can't believe I still have it just because usually I lose everything. Stuff it gets lost. Okay. I've got that. Partridge Family song stuck in my head. We're happy together. Oh, my husband was watching the second Ant-Man movie downstairs when I went down to get everything, bring it up here, and it was at, right at the end where they were playing that song. Hello world, there's a song that we're singing. Come on, get happy. Not a bad song. Not a bad song for an anthem. It's an anthem song. All right, let's do this one more time. Well, we're gonna do it many times, but we're gonna do it one more time here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do a rat chaw. And then back up. 
So this technique works really well for also for half stitches. So that's that's good to know because when I was watching those other pieces, it was all about noise. It was all about um, you know full cross stitch stuff. So it's really cool that it also works so well for the half stitch. Oh, actually, the um, friends that I'm having, um, that we're having lunch with today is my website remodeler. So, I'll probably talk a little bit about that. Old, old friends of mine. Come on, get happy. Whole lot of loving is what we'll be bringing. <clears throat> Speaking of happy, oh my goodness gracious, you should see in my face when my husband gave me the Baker Mayfield jersey. It was just, it was definitely one of those like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, I just couldn't stop. I was so excited. Because he, he had asked me a couple times, why don't you get yourself a jersey? And I'm just like, meh, you know, meh. It's more special when he gives it to me. Definitely more special. And, uh, but I wore it all last night. I have it on again now. I'm going to wear it out to lunch. Because, again, my friends that I'm having, we're having lunch with today, um, uh, he's from, he's originally from Cleveland, so he's a Browns fan. Oh, I have a jersey. I'm so excited. It's so cool, dudes. Okay, we're gonna come way down here. Hmm. I don't think I got that one very pretty. Let's see how this one looks. Yeah. I didn't get that one pretty. We're going to go back over that middle stitch here that I just did and make it a little prettier. Come here. That'll be fine. You're never going to see it. It's so far away. So far away. Let's see here. Hold on. Bump, bump, bump. Go way over here. I just gotta check and see what I'm supposed to do. There we go. There we go. Walking down the street. Get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, with the monkeys. Dun, 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 We're too busy singing to put anybody down. Ah, do I not? Oh. Yeah, see if you notice, like, I'm not getting knots for some reason. I'm not sure why, because gosh knows I, I manage to get knots in everything I do, but... Hmm. The whole lot of loving is what we're bringing. Oh, man. This is so cool though. Okay, and then when I get done with this, I'm gonna show you a bit of graph, or graphing. I'm gonna show you a bit of gridding with my graphing pencil. <clears throat> how I do it. And then you guys can go, oh, uh, that's not how you do it. And you can tell me the proper way and then I'll be like, oh, I'm so cool. That'd be cool. Learn how to do that. Do, 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 do. Come on, get happy. Oh, for those of you who are doing this piece, fellow crazy individuals, 
who are working on this piece. Um, let me know how you're doing it. Full cross stitch. What kind of fabric did you get? You know, how are you doing it? How are you doing it? I was excited about starting Ronnie Robe. So excited. Hmm. <sighs> This is where coming from the top is the way to do it, the way to do it. Meow. Making progress is the fun way to stitch. It's not a really good song, but not as good as Partridge Family songs, but come on now. Here we go. We got college football on today and semifinal playoffs. Maybe I'll watch. We'll see. Sometimes I just don't. But we'll see. There we go. Actually, I'm going to leave. leave that one. That's not the one to do. Do this one. And then this one. And then the rest is a different color. There we go. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look how much stitching got done in a really short amount of time compared to what I normally do. All right. Now, I did watch the Peacock and Fig. It's same, in the same video, it talks about ending the cross stitch, like finishing it up with a thing called a pin stitch. And that <clears throat> was complicated, in my opinion. Um, and I don't, I mean... I don't worry so much about things being uneven in the back, primarily just because I've done a lot worse and everything looks good when it's all done, when the fabric is all softened up. And maybe that's the difference between um, doing full coverage and, and not. But anyway, so there's our stitching. Look how much we got done in a short period of time. So now we're going to graph with my graphing pencil. Um, let's see, what does it say? Well, I'm going to have to get my stitchy glasses back on here. Whew. Come on, get happy. Um, all right. So, oh, Griffin pencil. So, it's made in Japan. Oh, here it is. Graph Gear. Can you guys see that? Graph Gear 500.3. I think that's what you guys wanted me to get, 0.3. I love the feel of this thing, man. It's nice and heavy. It's really nice. So this has worked out fantastic for gritting on this because it's such a fine tip. It's such, uh, let's see if you can see it. It's such a fine tip that allows me to make tighter marks in my fabric. And you can see where I've already kind of come. I, this is where I was trying to do it with um, the highlighter. And it just, it's not, it runs off. It doesn't do it correctly. So I can literally just go over where I've just been. Here we go. And just go in and highlight a little more. Ah. Ooh, that one's a little hard to see. I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll, I'll cut. I'll I'll count. I'll count these. Um, but you see, so you want to count your your big pieces in the middle. So oh my eyeballs. Or you could just count the, this one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then come down. That's a good way to do it. So, ah! So you still make mistakes. Um, so what I do is I just start in the hole. And start one. And then I just, as I'm doing this, I just let the pen slide into the hole. So it helps me stay counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. There we go. Okay, 
Now, on this side, this is a little extra because there's a little extra box over here. Hold on. So, one, two, three, four. Ah, fell right off. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. All right, so this is the end of the grid. But it, this goes two stitches beyond. And that's by design, the way that they put out the... I don't know why they do it either. Oh, and then this is... Um, they don't do... Um, anyway, I'm not going to get into that. It's hard to explain. But anyway, so they start off in the next box, but they give you the first two. No big deal. So now we're going to come down here. And sometimes what I like to do is I just like to turn it on its side to do these other bits. I'm going to come over here where I can't see anything. So again, one... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I'm not 100% sure that I did that right because it fell. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll come back the opposite way and count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that is correct. So then I'm just going to draw my line. And I always overlap my end lines. It's just easier for me to see. I don't have to do every single box, but you can see how it makes a nice makes a nice row. And that's all I'm gonna grid. That's I'm just gonna go one row at a time. Um, I can come down to this next row, but I got this upper part here to do. But there we go. But yeah, so I mean that works really well for this. Um, and it might work really well for um, I don't know if I mean you'd have to get for something like linen if you want to do it with linen. Um, one of the other colored pencils. Use something that's different. It will wash out. It will absolutely wash out. Um, no worries about that. But um, but yeah, so I mean, look at that. Doesn't that look great so far? And this is my full cross stitches. These are my full X's. And then those are my half ones. And honestly, the half ones look way better. Do they not? They just look prettier. Um, I'm it, Maybe, I think you looking at it, you can see the difference. Now, it'll be interesting to see what happens when it's a big, you know, it's a big, huge page and whatnot. But I, I just think that this is just a more uniform look. It looks fantastic. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love whoever, whoever told me to do half stitches. Bless you. Bless you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So I'm um, coming to the end of the video here. And I haven't made, I haven't done the drawing for the cross stitch. Um... Now, if you missed last week's video, um, what I told everybody was that I am doing a going to be doing some sort of sort of semi-secret drawings um, dispersed throughout um, my cross stitch stuff, and um, so I'll be giving an occasional giveaway on these kinds of videos, and I may do them on the interlude videos, and I may do them on the weekly updates. We'll see as we go along. There's some people I need to email, and um, in order to uh, to get a few things, but. Um, we're going to do it on occasion. I, I won't announce it ahead of time, and we'll try to keep it kind of on the DL. And that way, for those of you guys who watch my stuff regularly and are, you know, you, you're the part of this community here, and you're part of the stitching groups here that are so, like, you guys are just so awesome. But I'll give back to you guys a little bit, and um, and, it, and it rewards those of you who are just the most devout watchers. <laughs> so um, I am going to, uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? Um, I haven't drawn yet. The individual that won the first thing hasn't, has still hasn't replied to me. So I'm going to go ahead and when I finish editing this video, I'm going to just put it, the person who won, where's my fingers? Where's my fingers? There it is. I'm going to put their, their name right here. Congratulations to whoever won. <laughs> but um, if you will, um, my email address is on my about page. Um, it's also on my um, blog. Reach out to me, and um, unless I can unless I can reach out to you, um, if I can see what your email is. But um, but congratulations, and I hope you enjoy the piece. I am going to be starting my Ronnie Rowe here real soon, probably just in a couple of days. I'm so excited. And um, But yeah, I think that's going to be it. It's a little shorter video, um, again, but I feel like I got 
I got a, first of all, I got a lot done, but secondly, um, we have other things to talk about and do. So, and uh, now I can get started getting my my 2000 year in review, 2017, 18, whatever year it is, year in review, and we'll be good, guys. So thanks for watching. Um, trying to think of if there's anything else, but no, I don't think so. My my zoo channel, my pet channel is gonna come soon. I've already made the um, I've already made the title for it. Um, I think it's called My House is a Zoo or This House is a Zoo or something like that. There are no videos on it yet, but as soon as I start getting videos, I'll link them on these things so you guys can check out the animals and we'll put all the animals over there on that. Um, but uh, otherwise, we're good to go, guys. Um, thank you so much um, for watching. Um, there's more videos. There's a playlist that has all my stitch alongs. Um, I'm trying to put start to put playlists together that have just particular projects in them. So if you want to um, like have a old world map two playlist, then um, like there's three or four videos for that, and I'm putting that in a playlist, and then I'm going to put like all the Ronnie Rose in a playlist and things like that. So if there's a particular project that you like, you can watch just those stitch with me's. Um, all right, that's it. Happy New Year, y'all. And um, go Bears, go Blues. Please, Blues, start winning, please. And um, I'll see you guys soon, okay? Take care, and um, see you next time.